they do. Well, I'll bet I've got copies of them that are better than this. This was on the That had to be taken in somewhere in Englewood in 41 after a while I was out there. All three of those. That's the first car I ever owned. The old Hudson Terraplane. <laughs> this is a fellow that I grew up neighbors to in Lewiston and then he was out in Los Angeles when I was and then we we got together and lived on the same tourist court. Eddie Sharp, Sheets, Sheets. I know that was a member of the group. Now that's a picture of your mother and your grandmother. Let's take a picture. And then that he said to me, your desires for home and family will be recognized in due time of the Lord. I thought about that quite a bit, and I thought about it a lot lately. 
those desires have been recognized, have been realized. Uh, to live life with two women who were converts to the church. And whose testimonies are so powerful. That alone is a realization and a reward. Now, as I thought about this in relationship to my desires. My desires in reference to home and family. Totally useless. Unless you have grandchildren. Spouses. And great grandchildren. Live a Christ-like life. That's the problem. That's the summit. To live a Christ-like life. To live a Christ-like life, we're going to keep the commandments, we're going to be concerned for our spouses, our children, our parents, around us, and our service to the Savior himself. I have to ask myself this question. How can finding is the cross? For oh. Christ. And what he has done for us. If we think about that, then anything that's asked of us is almost inconsequential. A very my testimony that I know that God is. I know that Jesus Christ is our only brother. <clears throat> that he came to earth and performed a mission that permits you and I to overcome the frailties of the flesh and gain eternal exaltation if we will just pay attention to what we've been told, what we are being asked, and follow the words of God. I love all of you. Every one of you are important to me, and they're important to you. Please remember this so I won't be with you anymore. And I'm not trying to be sorted. That isn't anything out of the way. This is the natural thing of life. Your grandmother and I won't be with you too many more years. But please always remember to stand firm.
if you are true to yourself, you will be true to your, to your testimony. If you're true to your testimony, you will be true to yourselves. And you will be true to Jesus Christ himself. I pray for the blessing of the Lord in each and every one of those little ones. Thank you.